Hello. That is all. Anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. And in the last episode, we made it to level uh, 15. Yeah, 15. We made it to level 15 of Mines of Moria. I like to say Mines of Moria because it sounds like Mines of Moria from Lord of the Rings. So just shut up. <laughs> no, not really. But anyway, I think I'll give up. And I got a feeling I'll never get this far again. Really? Your party must not be at a high enough level, sir. Anyway, oh yeah, these these are the bi th these are the bugbears of Mines of Moria. They are some badass mother efforts, people. They are some badass mother efforts. How many enemies make the XD face when you hit them? How many? Look at that. He laughs at when you punches you when he you hit him with your sword. He laughs at you. This guy is my idol. I mean. It's if I, I, I'm going to make a tribute to this guy one, one time. I'm going to make a tribute. How many times do you see? How, how many times? How many times do you see things like these? The, these are the, 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 Look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm touched. No, seriously. Bigfoots. I, 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 I truly, truly, truly envy thee. Because if I, if I could. Just go ahead and make an XD face every time someone punched me. I would, I would just be the happiest man on earth, probably. Also, uh, Bigfoot looks kind of different from what I would have imagined. I mean, it looks kind of like a ghost that makes an XD face when you punches him, and that's the best thing ever. I'm not even kidding. That's that's just amazing. And that's an ivory, by the way. We could sell that at Jeet's shop for uh, this and that much money, but I can't remember exactly how much. However, these the uh, floor 16 or level 16 of Mines of Morlia, this is where the fun begins, because now we will get encountered by enemies. Another ISIS. Well, I suppose I'll just cut out this battle then, because you've already seen this bitch. She's not that much to show off, I mean, really. That was simple enough. Um, now, what's next? Was that level 16? Really? No, 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 this can't be it. Ah, here we go, this is the fun part of level 16! Just in my pants. Yeah, we've already seen, you've already seen these enemies as well, so I'll just cut ahead until I kick their asses. Assuming they have one. So anyway, this place, doesn't it seem familiar? It looks exactly like the place with the Daemonium in um, Lone Valley, which we saw all the way back in episode 10, actually. Uh, which is pretty cool, I guess, and you'll see why in just a few moments. We we'll just uh, get down here. Uh, oh, that's a sage, that's awesome. But anyway, this is what I was talking about. I heard a strange voice coming out of this hole. It's a baby! No. Quite far from that. What? What is this being? This place leads to the Daemonium. It's no place for humans like you to come. Live. His face does match the seriousness of his words. Are you an inhabitant of the Daemonium? Indeed. I am called Chameleon. Ah, Chameleon. Our world is currently threatened by a man by the name of Deos. Please, can you help us? Sure, if you can pay the price. However, the spell required for summoning inhabitants of the Daemonium was sealed long ago. Without it, I have a pa I have a pact ring. If we use this form, if we use this to form a new pact, the ancient seal will be broken. Very well, bring forth the emerald ring. You can only, of course, do this if you already got the deb 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 ring. Jeez, I forgot emerald ring. Thank you. <laughs> and well, I'm not gonna do anything special voice acting stuff to this. It's just, it's a pretty minor spirit, I guess, but it's very powerful. However, anyways, Klaus can now summon Chameleon. You know, come a come a come a chameleon. No, <laughs> sorry, I just had to say that. Uh, now, anyway, now we can head on to. F uh, okay, just be that way. Oh, that's a lesser boar. Uh, yeah, sure, lesser. That's right. 
Pretty simple enemies these, we've already seen the Beast Lord, the Lesser Boar is new, but very simple. Just like bugbears pretty much, just somewhat uh, more uh, piggy, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, see you when this battle is over. Okay, floor 17 I was about to say. Thank you, I keep forgetting that I can't use holy balls, that just sucks. Anyway, adventure, you see those houses on top of that sheer cliff? Those are the ruins of the dwarf's, dwarf's dwellings. Yeah, that looks really cool actually. It, the, this would look amazing if it was re- I want a Tales of Fantasia remake. I mean, I don't usually care that much about graphics or anything, but I want a remake of Tales of Fantasia, damn it. I mean, think, think about it, a three-dimensional... Yeah, three-dimensional, I come from the 50s, I can't say 3D. Um, a 3D version of Tales of Fantasia with full voice acting, an orchestrated soundtrack. That would be the best game ever. Yeah, I know, I just went to uh, ball uh, Michael Jackson on my voice there. Respect. Uh, anyway. So, the r- da ba da a da ba da ba da Oh, that's a new enemy. <laughs> yeah, there's a r- you winnels oi oi something i'm gonna call them the small ghost guys for now because it's much simpler and for just for me for everyone and <laughs> that hellmaster over there actually has the same haircut as chester does almost at least that's interesting i must say anyway so yeah very simple just very, very simple enemies. Not not much more to say about that. And one thing that really would have had to, had to fix if they were, if it was a Tales of Fantasia remake, if they made a Tales of Fantasia remake, they would have to fix the thing where the battle just momentarily pauses every time someone ca casts a spell. I mean, that's that's a horrible idea. I'm like, the, the, just the fact that you. The, the battle pauses like that every time someone casts a spell you can't do anything and as often as you're going to need spells in this game that's a real that would be a really useful anyway enough rambling for now keep on going so the goal of this is to make every one of these uh, brown I think so we have to step on these to make one two three four and then two, I think. Oh, that yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, I, I'm reading off an FAQ for this as well, so I'm not do I'm not I'm especially not doing this blind. That will be suicide and patricide and genocide and every kind of side. <laughs> anyway, it says, it says emergency exit. Yeah, that's an emergency exit to floor number ten, I think. It's useful if you're not a high enough level and you didn't realize that until now. You should be around my level, uh, the levels I have now. Everyone except for Susu, of course, because she's she's uh, she's a noob. I'm sorry, I'm, I had to break it to you. Anyway, uh, dude, uh, I wanted to go on, and but you didn't let me go on. You didn't let me carry on, Wayward Son. Now there won't be peace when I'm done. I won't lay my weary head to rest, and I will cry more. Much more. Oh, that's Chameleon, by the way. Yeah, it eats enemies. That's 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 really cool. <laughs> I think the battle's just about done now, isn't it? No. Okay, then. Okay, this takes us to floor number 18. And this is where the nightmarish nightmares begin to haunt me. Now we'll go ahead and save and start a small new recording session just so just for convenience. Excuse me a second. All right, so this floor this this floor, this floor. What do I say about this floor? It's amazing. No, it's just a maze actually. Anyway, I'm going to re be reading straight off the FAQ because I do not know how to even explain any of this. So, let me see. Down the stairs of the entrance, head west, and once you hit the wall, head south, hugging it. Oh, I'm a wall hugger. <laughs> now, anyway, keep going south until you head down some stairs and north a bit to see an exit to the west. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. No. 
No! Okay, now where was I? Uh, what's this? Where am I now? Aw, oh, no. Don't tell me I've done goofed up now. Don't tell me I've done goofed up. Please don't tell me I don't goof. Oh my goodness. Run, 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 yeah? Oh man. Damn straight, son. I'm at the right track, man. Up in the house. Word. So yeah, that's a new skill for Archie right there. I'm gonna turn off indignation while I'm at it. Because indignation's kind of falling behind now. I think I mentioned something about uh, indignation being good for the rest of the game. Well, not when you're in the minds of Morlia. Anyway, where was I? Now return to the previous room. Head south to the wall and head east to find stairs who recently came down. Well, they were... The, encountering an ISIS, that was not a part of the instructions, sir. That, that was not a part of the instructions. Dude. Whoa, what was that? That was strange. Anyway, run, run, run. Because I'm a pussy. Well, I'm actually... I'm not. Okay, where was I again? I keep losing track of where I'm reading. Uh, head south to Walden and east to find stairs to Rizla came down. Mm, head north and then head east. Oh, hi there. Well, this is, there's nothing over here, damn it. Okay, up. Uh, 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 no. Okay, it seems we're out of the woods for now. Anyway, head east, hugging the south wall. Wait, what? Or, what, what, what am I supposed to do now? Uh. Oh, all the way. Okay, then. Alright. I'm following you now. I'm following you now. Not you again. Didn't I get a restraining... Didn't I get a restraining order on you? I fear I didn't. I oughta get an restraining... I oughta get an restraining order. I gotta get a restraining order on your ass, Isis. You're getting annoying. Now, let me see, all the way north, hugging the east wall, going south as far as possible. Now, what? Guide me, guide. Guide me, FAQ, you shall show me the way of the force. Or, or you, or you can just do that. Just be an ass bag. 